What's up guys, I hope you're all having an amazing day and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys and talking about the best way to get the refer a friend challenges done. There's this new refer a friend thing right here, they've done it in the past but you need to complete challenges and tasks with someone who hasn't played the game in a while and the final one to get the skin, to get this skin for free is to earn 60 levels on your main account and on the other account too. So I'm going to be giving you guys the best XP tutorial to do this within 48 hours you can get it done easily. You have until like January to do this though so you've got plenty of time to do it so make sure you leave a like and subscribe put notifications on for the best XP tutorials on the channel I'll be posting the best XP tutorials next season as well helping you guys every single season to level up as you can see I'm almost at level 600 and the next game I play I will get level 583 so let's get straight into the video guys alright so first thing I'm gonna be talking about is the challenges right here so these XP challenges right here you want to be doing them as well if you have um, got some to do don't do them until you have done until you've signed up on the website to do it so there'll be a link in my description to do it I'll explain everything a bit later on in the video but you want to do these challenges after you've signed up to the refer a friend website you want to do any weekly challenges you have left to do them and then your daily challenges as well wait to do them as well and your weeklies too your milestones don't worry about your milestones they honestly they're, they're nothing really they're only 5,000 XP and you can get this within like less than a minute of doing my um, method which I'm going to show you guys right here let's get straight into this method I mean and I'll show you guys what to do so if you guys are regular viewers on my channel you've probably seen my loot lake method but this is going to be my updated version as well in this video as well because um, I've missed like quite a few ammo boxes and chests which I've uh, discovered as well so let's get straight into the video guys okay guys so the place we're going to be going to is loot lake here this place is the best place to loot for XP you can get up to 30 to 40 thousand XP within like five to ten minutes and I'm going to show you guys what to do and this is the updated version as well if you've already know this method make sure you watch this video too this will be the updated version as well there's uh, so many ammo boxes and chests which I missed as well which you can add into this method to help you guys out so yeah let's get straight into it Okay, we're going to be starting off in this tall tower hut place here, and you want to land straight onto this chest. If you do find any harpoon guns, make sure you do grab them because fishing will give you good XP too. There can be an ammo box spawn here, and if you glide, what just happened there? I don't know what happened there, I must have mantled at the same time as glided, I don't know. But if you come down here, there's going to be another chest too. And in Team Mumble, in case you didn't know, there is 100% chest spawn rate in here, and you glide and redeploy it. And then you want to glide down here, try land on this stick there it gives you a bit of momentum here and there can be an ammo box spawn here which is just here and i think there can be one here as well i don't know it kind of changes where it is there there's going to be a chest here and a cooler as well make sure you use these setup cannons for a shield as well because sometimes you can't get enemies here doing their challenges as well and then harpoon gun you want to fish as well we can get a ton of xp from fishing the fps does go a bit crazy though when i fish which is kind of strange but there's going to be a fishing bell here and as you can see i did just level up to 583 guys make sure you subscribe for level 600 and also npcs are now in team mumble so you can talk to them and get xp for talking to them and also first person to talk and first person to buy something too you can get like another like 1200 xp from just talking and also setting bounties as well is good to do for xp as well while doing this so while i'm going to be looting you want to follow what i'm doing in the background as well but while i'm going to be doing this i'm going to be talking about the refer a friend challenges so every they, they, they did this before they did this one time before but there is this um event where you can um do this refer a friend and you can earn a free skin as well as other cosmetics too and you have like so much time to do this you have months to do this and what you should do you have to play with someone who hasn't played in like 30 days or or like hasn't played any core gamers in 30 days and you want to complete the challenges with that person while playing with them and like the first one is to get is to place like um on, i'll put the challenges on screen i actually can't remember what they were to be honest but i, I know there's something like place top 10 six times or something and i believe you can do them in custom games so if you have a supporter creator code or know someone with a supporter creator code make sure you talk to them and, and uh, you can both do the challenges together and um, the final challenge for it is to get 60 levels not just on your main account but on your um on the other person's account too i think you can use an alt account for this as well that's what i'm going to be doing with an alt account and you can you need to earn 60 levels on both of them so i'm going to be telling you guys how to do this within 48 hours easily so there's also other methods you could do like creative maps as well which i'll have a link to those videos at the very end of this video so make sure you watch to the end for that they are very good methods you can easily get there within like 48 hours as well as looting you know doing your daily challenges doing your other challenges and looting as well will help a ton so once you've looted this place here 
Then you want to come down here, grab this loot here. There's going to be a chest behind here. You want to make sure you're opening them. Like every time I see, I watch a streamer, they, they, are, they are always breaking things. They're missing out on so much XP. There can be an ammo box spawn up there as well. And then for heals as well, you should be good for heals. Like there's so many cooler, cooler machine things here that you can just get so much fish, so much chug splash and all that. It's, you should be fine. And then here is going to be an ammo box just there too. It's going to be a chest here and an ammo box can spawn uh, this side as well. And then you want to use this slurp for health as well. You can fish too just now. And if you come over here, it's going to be another chest and you can get XP from campfires now. You can search all this. Like You can see I'm getting so much XP from this, guys. Getting so much from it. And also, again, like I said, you can do your daily challenges in Team Mumble pretty easily too. So uh, you can do that as well. And then you want to jump onto this launch pad here and glide into the top of this place right here search this chest break down and you can easily access this chest down here too and then you want to mantle up and glide to this corner here these are good for xp as well as um health as well you know like you can easily just get really good health from this and you can survive the storm for a very long time and the thing is there's no storm sickness in team mumble which is uh, another advantage okay once you've looted in here you want to break down here because it's much quicker than going all the way around get this ammo box get this one too and use these slurp cannons for health as well and we can go to this cooler here get some more health grab all these so much xp you can get here guys then you want to glide down here and grab this cooler right right here can be an ammo box spawn here fruit box can uh, they, they have 100 percent spawn so they will be there all the time and you can come up here and there will be another chest just here and I am run, running low on heals, but um, that's, 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 that's fine. I'll f but And I am running low on heals, but that's fine. I'll find some more in a second. I've got like three harpoons as well, which is awesome. So we can fish just here too. I'm actually going to use these final two slots here. And I can pick up something else like uh, this slurp fish here for health. And then there can be an ammo box spawn on this table here. Come up here. It's going to be a chest and an ammo box just here then if you come down here it's gonna be another fishing bell which will give you another chance to get a harpoon gun if you haven't found any already and come here grab these loot this up too and then you want to build across up to uh, this over to this chest here build up and if you come here it's gonna be another chest here and fish as well if there's any harpoon if you have any harpoons there couldn't be a fishing spot there okay and then you can grab all the loot up here there's going to be an ammo box here and you can use this slurp barrel for health as well then you want to glide just here and break on this side of the roof here then you can access this chest here and this chest here honestly shooting is much quicker than breaking in my opinion so you can do that as well if you have a assault rifle or something cash registers make sure you're searching them too for extra xp because they now give xp which is new in this season you can fish as well here, there can be fishing spots here. And then if you haven't already got a bounty on which I already do, then make sure you set the bounty here. You can search these for XP too, but it's only like 60 XP, it's not worth it. When you can just continue on with this loot path. And you can grab that chest too. Grab this fishing barrel, which you can get a harping gun from. And then there's going to be more heals here. Like, I'm so good for heals. I can literally survive so long in a storm. There's going to be three ammo boxes here. You can get up to 600 XP here, which is insane. And if they are rare ammo boxes, then you can get double that, which is like 1,200, which is you know, honestly really rare to get, but is, there is a chance of getting that. There's going to be loot all across here too. Slurp barrels, more health you can get from that. And there's going to be more shock smashes here. I'm going to grab that too. Then glide over here. There's going to be an ammo box spawn just here. And then in here is going to be a chest spawn. If you come up here, there's going to be more loot up here. So I think it's like a five tick almost now. I think it already is actually. But we're going to be fine. We can survive. We're good. Then you want to glide here to this chest here. Then you can build up and grab this chest just here. And if you come down here, there's going to be more loot too. So you can fish more. And there's going to be more coolers down here. You can search for really good XP. More chances to get a harpoon gun as well. Even if you do have harpoon guns, make sure you search the fishing bells anyway. They give uh, pretty good XP too. They'll help you a lot. You can fish a ton more down here. Going to grab these heels, these fish. And then once I grab that chest, then I'm going to come 
down here you search this campfire too search this fishing barrel you have so many chances to get a harping gun it's unreal and you can fish just here too as you can see on the look at all the xp i'm getting it's actually insane just from doing this it's actually insane okay then you want to come back up here and just over here is going to be an ammo box too grab these slurp barrels for more health fruit box here and an ammo box here and there can be a cooler here but i think i accidentally broke it that's unfortunate but there can be a cooler here and you want to take this zip line just up here and over here is going to be another cooler another fruit box and another chest and now if you glide over to this place just here is going to be another cooler another chest and there's a harpoon gun here nice i'm going to actually take this drop my medkit for it so i honestly don't need medkits and i can get xp as well for restoring health too as you can see and you can come just down here it's a slurp truck here if you need some health but i'm honestly good for health and then there's going to be more things to loot just over here ammo box fruit box and chest just here too and then the you can loot here as well there's going to be some fishing spots here you want to build it up and if you come just over here if you glide just over here there's going to be more loot here it's going to be an ammo box here a chest here a cooler just here and an ammo box on this side too which didn't spawn that's unfortunate but that will happen things like that will happen and you want to take this launch pad and glide all the way over to these caravans here this will be the final place you want to loot okay and it's going to be a campfire here you can grab and a cooler machine here a cooler box there and a chest just in there and you can sprint over to this next uh, caravan here camper van whatever you want to call it it's going to be another fruit box a chest and an ammo box here. So that's the loot path, guys. That is what you want. That is what you want to do. There's going to be other locations you can loot to, which I've made videos on, which is Condo Canyon, Daily Bugle as well. They're the best other locations, but it depends on the bus path. So if I was on this side, I would have gone Condo Canyon because it's the first drop. But because I was on this side, I went Loot Lake. I mean, Loot Lake is the best method, but it completely depends on your bus path because you can get enemies taking all your stuff and you can get killed by them, and it's honestly not worth it at the end of the day. And now, once what you want to do, you can kill people if you want to, but I wouldn't say it's that good because you can die you can i mean just give good xp but it's not as good as looting in my opinion so now you want to, now you want to do like challenges see if you have any to do like i've got some here which i can do i guess but um if you want to do milestones then you can do them if you're close to doing one then you can it, it will help you give that little bit of uh boosted xp but yeah that's pretty much the method guys make sure you do check out the videos on screen right now for more xp tutorials to help you hit 60 levels and then on your alt account as well you can do this as well or like the other player can do this as well whoever you're doing it with so yeah make sure you leave a like and subscribe put notifications on and i'll see you guys in my next video or stream have a great rest of your day peace